once again live. Uh, my voice is kind of coming back. Uh, it's kind of at that sexy deep level, you know, uh, that you get sometimes when you have a problem. Uh, so since it is like that right now, I'm going to have to ask uh, that people that are masturbating during the chat, please do so quietly because I assume there's going to be more of you than usual with my deep, sexy voice. But uh, if, as, long as, that, as long as you do that, we'll be fine. Uh, welcome everyone. If you've never been here before, this is just a conversation between myself and my viewers. Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, it's a place where you can come and ask me questions, suggest topics, whatever. You don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. You can talk amongst yourselves over there in the live chats place. You can come every day for about an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. But like I said, if you do want to talk to me, that's why I'm here. Uh, if you want to ask me a question or suggest a topic, just make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall in front of it, like it says right down here in the bottom of my feed. Uh, you can ask questions. You can suggest topics. You can even call me out if you think I've been wrong about something or you disagree with, about my, with me about my position on something. You can come in the live chat. Let me know with words. That way we can do more. I don't like answering chats and stuff that much with text. I can't type. So, uh, Feel free to do that if you would like any of those things. Uh, I'll try to get to every question, answer, uh, you know, every comment. Uh, can't promise I will. If you put out the Yankee Marshall in front of it, that makes it more likely I will, but can't guarantee it. Uh, I'm usually behind by about 10, 15 minutes in the early parts of the chat. So please do not repeat your questions. Just put them in once. And as long as we don't run out of time before I get to the questions, I should be able to get to all of them. Uh, <clears throat> if you don't want to wait and see if I get to your question, you want to get it answered right away, you want to jump to the front of the line, you can do a super chat. Super chats get priority as far as being answered. Super chats also uh, 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 go to fund the pets and vets program. So you can do one if you just want to uh, fund the pets and vets program. Uh, I think that's about it on those. Uh, the other way to fund the pets and vets program is to go over and become a patron. We lost four patrons today. So we lost like 20 patrons over the last three days. So uh, patronage is really low, really needs to be pumped up. I think I know what hill this channel is going to die on now. We'll talk about that more later. But uh, please go become a patron if you can all afford to be a patron of the channel. Keep it rolling. Keep the Pets and Vets program going. Keep the Friend program going. Keep the Voices program going. Uh, this isn't for personal enrichment for me. This is uh, to try to keep the things going that we've been successful at doing up until now. I ain't never going to be rich. I already determined that. So I ain't worried about that. Uh, uh, used to be a lot richer than I am now, but still, I don't do that now. So it doesn't matter. <coughs> but uh, as I was saying, uh, feel free to do a super chat if you want to support the Pets and Vets program. And uh, if you want to get an entry in the friend drawing, which we are doing the drawing for that tonight, uh, the friend, the silver bullet, the two cans of ammo, I've got the list ready for all that. We'll be doing that tonight. Uh, if you want to get an entry in the friend drawing for the next drawing, do a super chat of $4.99 or more, become a patron, become a subscribe star member, whatever. Uh, as long as it's $5 a month, it gets you an entry. Uh, and remember, less than one quarter of 1% of people ever do anything to support the channel that are subscribed to it. So if we could even just get it up to half of 1%, we'd be doing so well. Uh, I wanted to get us up to 800 sub, uh, patrons, but that did not work. That's why I tried to give the ammo away, but that did not work. And then it uh, fell right back down. Let's see, what are we at on patrons right now? 771, 771. We went up to 786, or was it 784? 784, 786, one or the other. So we got up to 780 something. We're back down to 771 now. Uh, <coughs> uh, the other program we run, we don't have any. Wait, wait, we got a super chat here, but it's a member chat. So let me go read that. Uh, Tim Allen, well, he's been a member for 11 months and he used his free chat, but he didn't say anything. How did he manage that? Uh, in the year 2025, 2525, said pets. No vets, though, just pets. <coughs> we will be doing a hat uh, drawing tonight. Uh, we definitely will do one tonight. <coughs> we were going to do one yesterday, but I forgot. And then after seeing the numbers today, we only cleared $20.38 on Super Chat. So there wasn't very many. So if I did one, we'd give away all the Super Chat money. Uh, 
I mean, we can still do one, but it would mean that Pets and Vets got nothing for yesterday. I'll leave it up to you guys. If we want to do two tonight, we'll do two. I'll do one with yesterday's donations, and we'll do one with tonight's. <clears throat> but if you want to get an entry into that, it's everybody who does Super Chats will get one entry for every $2 Super Chat, three entries for every $5, uh, seven for every $10, and 15 for every $20. If you want to donate more than $20, go over to Patreon and become a patron. If you wanted to donate $30, you can go over and become – uh, 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 or if you want to donate fifty dollars, you can go and become a five dollar a month patron, get ten percent off, and that's about the same amount of money. Just pay it up. You can do it as a one year payment, and we get to keep ninety something percent of it instead of half. <clears throat> uh, a nominal snowman just chimed in with a super chat. Says, "What happened to all the California Benitez rulings and Washington Mag Ban challenge?" Seems there was a ton of momentum, then nothing. Well, it's the courts. The courts are slow. And it's the Supreme Court more than anything else. Uh, a lot of the cases that are in California right now, they're waiting to see what the Supreme Court does on other cases that came before these ones that have the same principles. So if the Supreme Court would stop fucking dragging their feet on the Illinois case, etc., well, then all these things would be settled. But the Supreme Court, I know that people are like, they're conservatives and they love the Second Amendment. No, they don't. Uh, they're not conservatives. They're corporatists. They serve the corporate interest. Uh, they like big They like big business and big government. I'm drinking my diet, pepper, uh, strawberries and cream, Dr. Pepper, zero sugar. Just poured it before the chat started. <coughs> um... Let's see, where were we at? Oh, I was doing the spiel. Uh, the other program we run is TYM Triple P. If you were one of the ones chosen last month, your stuff is with Grab a Gun right now. They should be sending stuff out. <coughs> if not tomorrow, maybe uh, Monday. So look for your uh, uh, tracking numbers. Uh, if you're wanting to be in the drawing for next month, uh, go ahead and sign up. Go over to TYMPPistolProject.com and sign up. Uh, over there if you qualify and we will get you in next month's drawing and this month's drawing there was only like seven entries you know we picked four winners and there's only like seven entries uh entries are really low right now people are not paying attention to this channel we've been shadow banned no one sees any of our videos uh no one no other channel helps promote our programs because then they have to answer why they don't do them uh, so, uh, it's slowly collapsing to where it might not be a problem anymore, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, I have a feeling soon will be where we don't even get four entries a month. But if you're someone who thinks you uh, qualify, go over and enter. Uh, and, uh, if you don't qualify and you don't need to enter, go on over and support it, become a Patreon supporter. I know we lost a bunch of, uh, subscribe star people today. Did we lose or, uh, Patreon people, but did we lose subscribe star people today? Let's see. Uh, we're still at 95, so I don't think we lost any today. Nope, we did get one left today. Google, Google. Oh, I'm not supposed to say the names of who leaves. Well, I already did. Google, Google left today. Uh, that's a shame. I'm sure there's, there's a good reason for it. I hope I didn't piss him off. Uh <clears throat> Uh, but uh, no, then we also lo lost, uh, well, I don't know who they are. We lost a, uh, 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 one other person that we all know very well, has left us on Patreon. And I think they were larger subscribers too. So let's see. Uh, he was at the $10 tier. Let's see. Yeah, we lost $20 a month today. So we're not doing well on funding. To, well, we haven't been doing well on funding for a while. And it, it's because I think I know what hill we're going to die on. Oh, also, if you want to support uh, TY and Triple P, go buy merch. There's new merch over there now. Uh, the, th the true thin blue line merch is up over there. So if you're one of the people who wanted that, please go get it. I don't know if any of the people who wanted it actually went and bought it. Uh, but uh, uh, it's over there. Uh, but I was going to say, I think the hill this channel is going to die on. I think we survived uh, demonetization. We survived shadow banning. We survived being attacked by all the other channels. Uh, but I think the hill we're going to die on is the my stance on law enforcement. 
because since I made those videos where I talk about how modern militarized policing is the greatest threat to freedom in this country, support has just plummeted. Uh, we've lost probably 20% of our funding over the last week. Uh, and we can't handle that kind of loss. We were barely working as it is. Uh, so it might not be a big issue that, that people aren't signing up for TY and Triple P here pretty soon because we might not be doing it. Uh, <clears throat> because like I said, all of our funding is just crumbling away. Uh, I want to keep doing what we can do, but I think the first thing that'll go will be TY and Triple P. And I'll just try to keep pets and vets and stuff going because I want to help pets and veterans more than I do give guns away. But want to do the guns too if we at all can but i think that my my stance on police is going to uh, kill kill it it's going to be like i said that's the hill we're going to die on because it seems in the gun community when you point out any problem with law enforcement you are immediately a pariah i've gotten so many comments the last couple of days and had to delete so many threats the last couple of days over you're a defund the police or you're a fucking BLM guy. You're blah, blah, blah. You're a plant. Blah, blah, blah. You need to fucking die. We need to put you in a wood chipper, all that stuff. So. Those these people who worship the police are very rational, uh, good people. <clears throat> uh, Kevin Mabry donated and said, pets and vets, P's and V's. Uh, right now, the only thing that's going good in the funding department is Super chats. That's the only thing that's actually up a little bit. Everything else dropped substantially because our two major funding sources are Subscribestar. Patreon's our biggest funding source by far. It's dropped by like 22%. Uh, and then Subscribestar and channel memberships are like the next one. They've dropped like 15% each. And then uh, 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 Super Chats has gone up about 10%. So, <clears throat> but still we're about over 20% down overall from last month to this month. And it's mostly because of the, the cop videos. I ain't gonna fucking stop doing them though. Uh, one of the guys in my, in the comment section even said, it seems like these are getting a lot of negative feedback. Uh, if you care about your programs, maybe you stop doing these, but that's not how this channel operates. They should know that. Uh, where am I at? Have you ever considered joining forces with self-active self-protection and Hickok? I don't think either one of them would have anything to do with me because I tell people what they really are because they're part of the problem. I would never want to be part of the problem. I'd rather not be here than be part of the problem. Uh, <clears throat> any day of the week, I'd rather just not be here because think of how much more free time I'd have. I mean, I'm not enriching myself personally off this, so it's not like I'd be losing anything financially. Uh, and I wouldn't have to worry about the programs we run. I wouldn't have to worry about making videos. I'd just say, fuck it. Let everybody deal with their own problems and just let the Second Amendment go away. Uh, that would be so much easier for me, to be honest. Uh, where's he? Where were we? Let me see. Did I do all? Oh, did we sell? I don't think we sold any products today, so I don't think I got to read any orders. Uh, no, those are, wait a second, hold on. Nope, those are all from yesterday. And those are all from yesterday. So we didn't sell any products today. I, and merch sales are way down. Uh, I was looking at my merch sales thing the other day. It was like, da, 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 da. it was hovering it around. We were making, you know, $800, well, sales a month, about $800. Uh, and then it's down to like 350 now. So it's just bottomed out too. Because nobody wants, well, a lot of the designs have been anti-cop recently too. So, and nobody wants those. Uh, out of 1,000 rounds of ammo, how much of that should be quality self-defense? Police need to be scrutinized. They have too much power and control. <coughs> uh, you mean if you've got 1,000 rounds backed up? Well, Here's the thing, buy ammo that can be used both to range and self-defense, like the uh, Minuteman ammunition. You can get big boxes of it. They're not much more expensive than regular range ammo, but they're as powerful as self-defense ammo because there's really no real reason for self-defense ammo to be as expensive as it is. You're paying for hype mostly. So uh, just get you a good self-defense ammo. And if you've got like a specialty ammo that you want to carry with you every day, uh, that is super performing, blah, 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 penetrates doors, all that stuff. Well, have a few boxes of that around. <coughs> and when you go through it, get some more. 
but uh, the vast majority of your stash can be just general ammunition. <clears throat> Full metal jackets are nothing to laugh at. Uh, Officer Tater Hater said, I ordered more stuff. Can't wait to see it yesterday because I don't see anything from today. Well, no, wait, maybe you just did it just now. Let me check and see again. No, that's Steve Elbert. Uh, Steve Elbert bought something. Tater Hater must. Oh, Tater Hater did it yesterday. I know. Because I had to, didn't I have to fix it? Yeah, I had to fix it, send it through. Because he got the uh, uh, the thin blue line sticker and I had had an error on it. So I had to cancel his original order and place it again because I wanted to make sure his did not have the misspelling on it. Plus, I didn't like the way I'd done it. I had originally done it uh, uh, our self-interest, uh, our private code. Then I changed it to their because it should be we're talking about them. We're not talking as them. So it should be right now. But we did get an order just now from, who was it? Steve Elbert. He bought a thin blue line t-shirt and an ATF t-shirt. So there's our sales for today. We actually got some sales now. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the cop thing, I guess if I got to choose a hill to die on, uh, the, 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 the police thing is, is the one I want to die on. Because I think... If I can just wake up a few people in the gun community to the threat law enforcement uh, it presents currently to our Second Amendment rights and our freedoms in general, and then they can each wake a few people up, you know, even if I've just woke up a few dozen people, hopefully it'll make a big difference in the long run. Because if people don't wake up soon, they're going to be under total police control. Uh, it's going to be too late to do anything about it. There's going to be so many laws that run... Uh, businesses that sell firearms out of business it's going to be so hard for every normal everyday people to get guns there's going to be so many cops that are on the federal payroll that even if you ever dared step out of line they'd have you surrounded and taken down in a matter of hours and uh nothing would ever you would never ever be able to fight back so <clears throat> i just got to get people's eyes open and people are asking, do I feel better today because my voice is better? No, I feel actually worse today. Uh, I cannot hardly breathe. Can't keep my breath very well. That's the worst part is I can't, can't keep, take a deep breath, can't keep a deep breath, uh, can't smell hardly anything. So I've got no appetite. So I'm weak. But the only thing I can taste is sweet and I'm not supposed to have sweet because I got the diabetes. You know, I got that sugar. So. I'm not supposed to have that. Uh, Todd Hutula, who uh, just donated $100. Although, like I said, if you want to donate more than $20, go over and donate it on, pay, on uh, either PayPal, where we get to keep more of it, or go and do, be a patron. You know, you could have been a $10 a month patron and paid a year in advance. And with the 10% off, you'd have spent about the same. But we'd get to keep more of it. But still, like I said, I don't mind seeing them come in every great once in a while. Big super chats because, like I said, I think that's the only reason YouTube hasn't got rid of us is because we do make some money for them super chat wise. Because I think they take more than half of what we make. Uh, because, like, I will add up like what we make a day. Let's say we made fifty dollars in super chats. I'm like, well, I get to keep uh, seventy percent of that, so that's thirty five dollars I made. And then I will actually look the next day, and it's like eighteen dollars. And I'm like, well, they're all still there. The them taking 30% should leave me 35, but it's 18. So not only do I think they take more of a percentage than they tell you, I think they just take some of them completely and don't give them to you. Like if there's any type of, oh, well, they'll be like, oh, there's like a with the code or something. So it doesn't go across. So we just kept it, you know, that kind of thing. But Todd Hutula says, loving my Kiapa rhinos. Thanks for hosting a 2A community. Well, that's what I try to do. I do try to host a two-way community. I don't think of the people here as just viewers. <clears throat> Although we got very few viewers today. We're down to 120 viewers today. Even the live chats are dying. They used to be able to count on 250, 300 people. Then it got down to where 200 was a good day. We had 200 yesterday. Uh, but now it's down to like where 120, 150 is normal. So even the live chats are dying. So we'll probably have, we'll probably cut back on those soon. But then that'll cut back on being up on super chats will be down on every fucking thing. And like I said, I think it traces mainly back to uh, the police, the police officer stuff, my opinions on the police. <laughs> but like I said, I can live with that. Uh, we sold another thin blue line shirt. Uh, the new one to Joe 
Pearson. You know, we have a person and a Pearson that, that uh, both buy stuff. And I almost wonder, are they like a, a, the same person with multiple personalities? I don't know. <coughs> oh, and if you're one of the people that had a problem order or anything like that, I've got all those taken care of now. So if you got the wrong item, which some people got the wrong item, uh, keep the one you got. They'll send you a new one. There's a couple people like Toe Tao or Tao Toe or whatever his name is uh, over here that got the wrong item. He got sent a pink hat instead of a black hat. Uh, just keep the one you got. The other one's on the way. Other people who had orders that were stuck in shipping. Uh, well, one of them arrived for one of you today. You sent me a message. It looked like yesterday about whether where it was at. And I'm like, well, I'd already reordered it a week ago and it should be there today. So hopefully they get that. Uh, but everything should be all caught up on the orders. Uh, do you wish you still had your Jeep living up on the mountain? Also, does your Chevy have lockers or LSD? Uh, 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 I do not wish I still had my uh, Jeep, although I still constantly look at Jeeps. Uh, Today, I was watching videos on the two-door Jeep, the, the Rubicon Xs, and boy, I'd like to have one, but I just can't justify it. I like my Camaro too much, and when the weather is bad, you know, of course, I can't drive my Camaro when the weather's bad, but I just prefer not going anywhere anyway, uh, and I've got that truck for when the weather's bad, and that truck can go anywhere a Jeep can go, believe me. That thing is, I mean, maybe not rock climbing. But as far as just like getting through bad weather, that Jeep will go anywhere. I've had that Jeep in mud up to the running boards and it still got out of it. So, uh, <clears throat> or that uh, Chevy, I mean, Chevy, he said. So it's a a, 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 a good uh, car. <clears throat> yeah. I like it. Uh, let's see here. Where was I at? Uh, hold on, I got to answer something. <coughs> oh. Uh. oh, I don't know if I answered all that. What it was there was more to it? Uh, no, I guess I did. I got it all answered. Where was that question at? Where did I see that? Oh, does it have a lockers or LSD? I think it's locking rear differential, if I'm not mistaken. Because it's, you know, it's not, it's not, it's the four wheel on the fly kind of thing. Two wheel or four wheel drive where you got to stop and go down to like two miles an hour and shift it into gear. And so it's not full time four wheel drive or anything. Why did you abandon the Kappa Rhino? Because I don't really need it right now. My medication is helping enough with my arthritis that I can actually shoot regular revolvers. Uh, Kiapa Rhinos are awesome when you need a gun that has less recoil. Uh, and I still every now and then carry it. They're, they're awesome. I mean, I can't say I dislike them at all. I think that they're one of the coolest looking guns uh, you could possibly carry. And since they're six rounds of 357 Magnum, they're very effective too. But uh, since I am not needing to reduce the recoil as much now as I was before I started being medicated for my arthritis, uh, I can shoot a regular revolver more. Let me see where we're at over here on the super chats. I'm all caught up. Uh, I didn't abandon them though. They're, I've still got them. And I still use them. I still shoot them. They're fun at the range, especially. And like I said, very cool to carry. Uh, did you get a chance to review the video portions of the stabbings on the river? If so, would you say that guy is guilty or was it self-defense? I have not, did not see it. I saw you sent the video <clears throat> and I had seen that video uh, the day before, but I, I haven't watched it because I don't want to watch someone get stabbed. I'm not big into the bad news. I don't seek it out. If it happens to me, I'm like, oh damn, if it's happening somewhere else and I don't know any of the people related or anything else, I don't see why I should burden my, my consciousness with it. Um, the nominal snowman says thinking about Detroit true, tra true track lockers in my Chevy K20. 
has open diffs. It's all right in snow and off road. Tire chains make me unstoppable. Yeah, you put uh, even just uh, uh, <clears throat> I just use the way you call them the cords, not the not chains. Uh, cables. I use cables, not chains. You, that thing goes fucking everywhere with cables on it. Our road out here was a, it's it is a steep incline. I showed you all the pictures. You can tell it's going downhill. And it was just solid ice. I mean, it was a skating rink. If you had ice skates on, you got to skate on it. That thing came right up. It went right down. It came right up. It didn't slow it down at all. That uh, Silverado 1994 Silverado. It ain't much to look at, but damn, that thing will go anywhere. Uh, what do you do to lose patrons now? Uh, well, I'm losing most of the patrons. If I, if, if, I, if you, Look at the number of people that have left and you look at the ones that actually do exit reviews. It's because of my opinions on law enforcement. Uh, people are like, you're a BLM plant. One person even said uh, 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 guns and gadgets was right about you. You're a plant from BLM. And I was like, no, I just can recognize that guns and gadgets is a cop or at least an ex-cop. So, of course, he's pro cop. He's got his benefits coming in and his, you know, and all that other shit. But uh people who are outside the loop can see that cops are the biggest threat to our security and to our freedoms right now. This whole notion of militarizing law enforcement and putting them everywhere on every corner. And this notion that we keep needing more and more cops, even though crime rates are going down and have been down for decades, but yet they still call me need more police. And every time every officer they hire, they deck them out like some sort of SWAT member, like how that's the norm now. Like every officer on the street, every officer handy or whatever you want to call him has got to be loaded down with an automatic weapon, an MRAP and, you know, body armor. Uh, well, you got to ask yourself, what are they preparing for? Because it ain't regular crime because regular crime doesn't come to that extent. So what are they preparing for? And it's to take your freedoms away from you. <clears throat> Did you see that lady in government here in Washington saying that mandatory speed limiters for all cars is a good idea? Uh, well, it would save a lot of lives, uh, but is it worth it to surrender that type of freedom? Uh, are most people going to go for it or is it uh, a more of an infringement on people's rights and freedoms by the government? Uh, I'm not going to sit here and deny and say that, hey, if cars could only do 60 miles an hour, we would have less people uh we wouldn't have less people die because that's true it's not true we probably would have less people die if cars were only capable of doing 60 miles an hour but uh is it worth it is is that little bit of gain you'll get worth it because the people who do die from speeding uh if they're just killing themselves, which is most often the case, most often the case is that they killed themselves. A lot of people like to think, oh, it's they like kill other people. That's really not the case so much. Usually they just kill themselves. So that's a risk they're taking. Uh, oh, and here's the thing. Drive defensively. You should be all right. Pay attention. Know what you're doing. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. And I'm sick right now, so it's hard for me to keep my thoughts in a line. But. At some point, you have to say that every little drop of safety isn't worth surrendering freedom for. It's rather to be free and a little and have a little risk than it is to be safe and have no freedoms. And every time we give away even a little thing like that, we inch closer to the ladder. <coughs> that was a long bunch of nothing. I think I just said there. Tim Allen says, I hit the wrong button on my phone. Ugh. Oh, Tim Allen, when he did his comment earlier, and didn't say anything. Uh, I sent you an email with my new flag. Let me see if I can find it. I haven't. There it is. <clears throat> oh, yeah, he said it yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to look at it yesterday. Uh, let's see. Why are those magnets teeth? That's weird. Uh, but here, let me show the picture. Does anybody else think it's weird that the magnets are teeth? I think those are teeth. And one of them's got a gold crown on it. But uh, uh, there is uh, the uh, 
his new flag, John Heasley's new flag. He got the bear and rabbit business flag. It's the first one I've seen of him actually out there. Don't even think about it. It makes me sad that some people don't get that, but uh, I'm getting old and there and people are getting stupider. So uh, don't feel bad. Yank bootlickers come for Rick to the cops. Wives are the worst. I don't even hold the door open for these women. A lot are beaten anyway. Well, yeah, a lot of them are beaten, but uh, cops beat their wives at a much higher rate than any other profession. But, <clears throat> uh, hell, I think, uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe meth dealers beat their wives more, but uh, cops are like the top of the list. Um, yeah, but see, he's got an advantage. He's very conservative. So at least all the very conservative uh people who recognize that cops are part of the problem, they'll stick with him. The people that are on the fence, you know, people that are very conservative and realize cops are a problem, they still won't stick with me because they know my other opinions aren't very conservative. So I don't serve any one particular community. I don't serve the liberal community because they don't like my positions on guns and freedom and stuff like that. I don't serve the right wing community because they don't like my opinions on religion and blah, 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 and whatever else. So uh, I kind of fall in the middle and the few people that do actually, I do appeal to when I start talking about the cops, I lose a lot of those. <coughs> um, I'd say you should set a minimum of something like $60 minimum in super chats. Then you'll give hat away. Just say an only fair. Well, we did do that with shirts for a while. Uh, we said, uh, if we don't get like 12, entries or something. We'll start doing that tomorrow or something. Uh, um, let's see, where are we at? Are we almost done? No, we're only halfway through. On the muzzle of the spore revolver, I noticed a concave dish like shape. Does that improve Accuracy on the muzzle of the spore. What is he talking about? Let me let me see if I can bring up a picture of the spore. <coughs> yeah. All right, here's a picture of the spore. Ugh. No, I'm not having. Someone asked me if I was having chest pains. I'm not having chest pains. I just, I tend to do this when I don't feel well. I do that kind of, uh, so I always kind of tuck my arm up when I'm not feeling well. Uh, but uh, are you talking about uh, the barrel crown? It's kind of a reverse crown or a recessed crown. Uh, it doesn't really improve. I mean, it could be flat as long as the actual crown is proper. Uh, it just gives a better look. It's more of a more finished look, if that's what you're talking about. Let me know if that's what you were talking about. All right, let me make sure I'm caught up with the super chats. I am. <coughs> uh, it's a bloodbath in the trucking world right now. Might be some economic recession coming. I've seen the trucking industry been having issues. Uh, you're going to give yourself a heart attack worrying so much about what is supposed to be extra income. Well, it's not extra income. See, what it is, is it's funding for, it's like I'm running a charity and the charity's failing. And whenever anything fails, you feel bad about it failing. And you especially feel bad when it fails because people are idiots and don't recognize uh, the realities around them. I'm missing my pad. I'm trying to move my cursor and I'm touching the desk and not my pad. Uh, the gun owner crowd won't ever stop bending over for the police. The right wing in this country talk a bunch of shit, but they'll never use the Second Amendment for what it's for. Well, no, because they worship the people that it's for too much. When I was in high school back in 94, I noticed how militarized law enforcement became with Ruby Ridge and Waco. Well, yeah, that's one of the th signs of the people that they love so much. Uh... <coughs> Uh, where was I at? I just jumped down. It dropped me to the bottom. 
I got to go try to find where I was. Would it help if I argue with you about the police? You don't like me much anyway. We can play good cop, bad cop. Oh, I don't want to be good cop or bad cop. I want to be done like either cop. <clears throat> you can't be a cop. Your beard's too weird. Nobody buy you as a cop. Uh, inbred hillbilly? Yeah. Cop, no. Crack dealer? Yeah. Meth dealer, probably more likely. Have you considered... Oh, I read that already. No, that was a stupid comment. Uh, I never understood why bootlickers think so highly of police. They just do. They Part of it is they worship authority because they want so much to be authoritarian figures. Also, it's they often don't understand what freedom actually means and they love to see people who have different opinions than them cracked down on by law enforcement. So they see law enforcement as enforcing their opinions sometimes. Uh, so it's basically wannabes and brainwashed people and blah, 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 people with authority issues. Uh, people always think that authority issues make you untrusting of authority. It's not, not true. A lot of times when people have authority issues, it's because uh, they associate with authority in a specific way and therefore they want to be them so badly that they're willing to debase themselves to do so. How long have you been shooting and do you notice it takes a few rounds to adjust back? Haven't shot in four. Oh, how long do you go between shooting? Well, I don't usually go that long between shooting. I mean, it's rare that I go a week without shooting at all. Uh, even if it's just going down and shooting a few rounds to test something that I've just taken apart and put back together. Uh, but usually I find it's, you know, it's like riding a bike. You get back on, you remember how to do it. Same thing with shooting. I've got a hangnail really bad. Uh, looking for more revolvers. Any thoughts on the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 38 Special? I will say that's not my favorite revolver. I do like the way that little mag release is, or cylinder release is, though. I kind of think that's cool. But <coughs> I think I'd get a, a, an LCR before I got that. Unless that's so much cheaper that you can get, but I'd rather have an LCR. Uh, Mike D donated and says, because of Paul needs a hand, people willing to give up their freedoms for the perception of safety will have neither. People don't learn. No, they don't learn. They do not. Uh, Philadelphia outlawed ski mask, but a hijab with a veil is still legal there. Well, I don't ever wear either, so I'm not too worried about it, but I can't imagine that either are really a big problem. Just don't use a toilet on a hill that might end up well. What? Just don't use a toilet on a hill that might not end up well. I'd rather use a toilet on a hill than I would down in the valley because that's the whole reason that there is an underground Seattle. Because they had a problem with after the upper portions of Seattle, like Capitol Hill and everything started uh, uh, being built up and there were houses up there and stuff. When the people up there would flush their toilets, it would come out in the toilets down below uh, because of the difference of elevation and how the plumbing was set up. So the, the best way they found to combat it was there's like a when you go to Seattle, you'll see that there's a big initial ridge and then there's a valley and then there's another hillside and then there's a hillside. And when that hillside started building up, what they did is they took that valley between that initial ridge and the hillside and they built up on top of the old city and leveled it out. So now you just come up a hill and then it's level and then another hillside. And in the bottom of that is the old city. And one of the reasons they did that is because when they started building plumbing a little more higher up the hill, it started shooting. You know, they'd flush their toilet up here and it, shit would shoot out of someone else's toilet down below. So, uh. They did that to fix that problem. That was one of the big reasons they did it. Um, back before I painted it camo, he said. Uh, this is his picture of his truck with his chains on it. I've got chains somewhere, but I don't ever really use them because the cables are just so much easier to put on. Uh, just so much easier to put on. And I like things easy because I am lazy. And some might say shiftless. <clears throat> uh, hi, Yankee Marshall. A couple earthquakes in New York City today. I saw that. 
Uh, four months ago, I got a picture and fingerprints for a permit. No permit yet. You sound better today. I sound better, but I don't feel no better. Uh. <clears throat> Todd Hutalua, I believe what you meant to say was thank you for your support, Todd. Oh, yeah. That's why I said I do like seeing it come in here sometimes because we, it keeps us alive. But I would rather people go over and give on Patreon. But Todd Hatula did a big donation. I mean, him giving 100 and us keeping 50, that's better than most people do. No one even gives 20 or 10 or 5 even. So he's 10 times better than most of the people and 1,000 times better than the rest. Uh the common, and plus, I don't feel good today, so I ain't being thankful to nobody. If you make me feel better, I'll be thankful. Make me feel like I ain't dying. The common book boy, tacty tart, and bumpkin good old boy like to cope about the law enforcement militarizing, doing tyranny by shifting the blame solely to the ATF and the FBI. You know, they always try to pretend it's like, oh, it was just the FBI or just the ATF. You know, who's always there with them? local police? And who do those local police want to be more than anything? They want to be those ATF and FBI. They want to be federal. Uh, what revolvers would you recommend for a semi-auto fan who is really curious? Uh, start off with the best. Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. Good evening, Yankee. <coughs> Have you been to Skeleton Key Auditorium in Portland? I don't know. I don't know what that is. A lot of places I've been where I didn't know where I was at, so it's possible, but um, where was that chat from? Uh, that was uh, Todd Hatula's 10th Super Chat on the live stream. I wonder how many of them have been on my live stream and how many of them are, are have been cheating with other people. God damn cheater. Uh, <clears throat> but he did give me money. So I don't care if someone cheats on me if they give me money. Uh, I'm okay with that. As long as the money is on the dresser, I don't care where you go next. And he put the money on the dresser. <clears throat> I got to find where I was. Uh... Do do yeah, got COPD after his 50th bout of Kofu. Actually, I think it's only the third time I've had COVID, but and I'm not certain I have COVID. I don't know how uh 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 accurate those home tests are. I think they give way way more positives, uh false positives than they do false negatives. I wonder if someone who identifies as a ninja can wear a ninja mask under the Philadelphia ski band mask. Well, does it specify ski masks or does it just any mask? Because if it specifies ski mask, well, then ninja masks are not ski masks. You can still wear a Halloween mask, I guess, if you wanted to. Send me a 30DS version of your Kiapa Rhino. No, not going to send you either of them. I do have to get to try to get sporting systems tomorrow to mail that gun to uh, uh, Kevin Mabry. Have you tried red light therapy for your arthritis? No, I haven't. The meds are working just fine. Uh, last night, the topic in Dr. Tom Pritchard's chat was dark side of the ring, Harley Race. <clears throat> well, this must have been interesting. I found Harley Race to always be a very interesting guy. Uh, in and out of the ring, he was a tough motherfucker. Uh, a no nonsense kind of guy. Uh, he's one of the few people I think that uh, Ole Anderson actually liked. So, uh, yeah, he's an interesting character. Now, his career actually started back on the carnival circuit and then went into the territories. Uh, and then again, you know, they had the King Harley Race stuff when things were going more national. But if you only know Harley Race from his King Harley Race days, well, then you don't know Harley Race. You got to go back and look at his old stuff. <clears throat> he was a uh, uh, he was a uh, uh, amazing personality and wrestler. Uh, Snuffleupagus, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, says sorry, been a while. Yeah, that's what I just said. Try and help when possible, my friend. 
That's all everyone should do is help when possible. I mean, and no one should help unless, of course, they want, they believe in the things we do. Uh, if you don't like the fact that we give guns to lower income families, then you shouldn't support that. Uh, don't ask anyone to support anything they don't like. If you do like that we do it, well, don't just give it lip service. Give us a couple dollars. Everybody can give a couple dollars. But of all the people who give it lip service, I bet you only 10% ever, ever even give a nickel to it. Uh, if you don't like the fact that we give money to things like weed for warriors and uh, 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 canines for warriors, and you don't like that we help people who have GoFundMes with pet bills and stuff like that, well, then don't donate or, or a Patreon, I mean. Don't be a patron if you don't like those things. If you don't like that we help uh, support other voices on YouTube, uh, we try to keep pro-gun voices going. So we support a lot of other channels, even some I don't like. Uh, well, then don't support me on Patreon. But if you're someone that does like those things, don't just give it lip service. Although lip service can sometimes be enough to get you over the edge. Uh, actually help. Everybody can help a little bit. And if everybody helped a little bit, nobody would have to help a lot. And we could do a lot more than we do now. Uh, <clears throat> where am I at? Given your age, no offense, did your love of revolvers come because semis were so limited capacity and quality when you started buying guns? They weren't, they weren't limited. We had all kinds of things. Uh, we had pretty much most of the, well, not most of the small stuff, but, you know, things like Berettas uh, and even Glocks. Uh, see, what year did Glocks come, first come in? Was it 85 or 84? So, yeah. <coughs> it was 85 uh, that they really started. Uh, and it was 86 where they first came available here. Well, at 86, I was, what, 18 years old? Wait, how old was I in 86? It was 19 years old or so. I wasn't old enough by handgun yet. Maybe 20. So, I wasn't old enough by handgun yet. So, by the time I was old enough by handgun, we, there were Glocks. There were... Uh, SIGs, there were Berettas, there were all kinds of semi-autos. And I did love Berettas, but revolvers are just superior in so many ways. They're more powerful, they're simpler, they're more reliable. Uh, I think they're easier to bring to bear and they're more accurate overall. So I just like them better. Uh, I think they're superior in every way except for capacity. So if I want more capacity, I'll go with... Uh, semi-autos, but if I don't need more capacity, I'll go with revolvers. <clears throat> uh, so it's got nothing to do with my age. It's not like I was born in the 1600s and there was nothing around, but there was everything you could get. We didn't have as many uh, set up for carry, like small little nine millimeters, stuff like that. And the ones we did have didn't sell very well because they were kind of ahead of their time. <clears throat> You'd be surprised to go back and look at a lot of the other guns and go, wow, that would have been a lot of the older guns and go, that would have been a really big seller nowadays. If we did that back then, it didn't sell well because most people didn't carry. See, everybody has this false notion that it used to be everybody carried a gun. Now hardly anybody does because of the restrictions. No, it used to be almost nobody carried a gun. Now far more people do because of how easy it is now. It's actually easier now than it had, was 40 years ago. <clears throat> but people don't understand that because they're constantly be, being fed darkness and despair all the time, but they don't realize how much better things are actually now. Uh, we got a four-month WAP chat from Richard Wilson, who said, don't let them get to you. Haters going to hate. You keep up the good fight, bro. Well, I'll always do keep doing what I'm doing as long as I possibly can. But... Uh, when we can't do it anymore, well, then we'll just stop doing it. But we have to get to that and can't do it anymore part before we stop doing it. But it's still just, it bothers me that so many people in the gun community walk around with their eyes closed, that they succumb to the fear and the propaganda and the division. And then they even foster it themselves. Uh, it's kind of infuriating when you, when there's something you care about, uh, like, the freedom of the Second Amendment, the ability to be able to defend yourself and your family, the ability to live your life without the government telling you how to do it. When you care about those things and you watch that slowly being taken away, 
and you see the people that supposedly agree with you who should be helping you fight for it, actually damaging those rights more than they help. Uh, like the people talk about how the NRA has done such amazing things over the years. No, they haven't. The NRA has done more damage than good in their life. If since the 70s, they've done more damage than good. Uh, yes, we have more rights now, but that's been mostly through court victories and through uh, grassroots agendas. All the NRA managed to do was divide gun owners into conservatives who own them and liberals who don't to make it a conservative issue. That's all they've done. They've tied guns to every conservative issue they possibly could to where they have forced a wedge right down the middle of gun owners that you have to either decide you're going to own a gun and support the right or you're going to be ostracized. And that's one of the worst things that ever happened to guns, gun rights in the gun community. Google, Google said, I'm still going to support, agree with your spot on facts and Gestapo cops. It is better to increase Patreon or do both Patreon subscribe start. It don't really matter either which one. Uh, Patreon is, the way I've got it divided up is, and I didn't mean to read your name. I just read it because I'm stupid and I dox people all the time. <clears throat> oh God, remember how I used to show people's addresses and stuff all the time before I figured out that you could see them? Uh, 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 Patreon is more if you want to support Pets and Vets, the friend uh, drawing, and uh, uh, what else? Uh, the Voices program. That's what Patreon is. It's those programs. Subscribestar, all the funding's from Subscribestar and merch sales goes to support TY and Triple P. So it's really a which do you prefer? Subscribestar and Patreon both take a similar, similar cut. It's a small cut. It's not a big cut. It's not like 50% like YouTube takes. It's like three to 5% or something. I think Patreon's like three or four and uh, subscribes like, like four or five. So it's not really much of a difference between the two of them. So you basically just choose by which programs do you want the money going to? Do you want it going to TY and Triple P to provide firearms for more low income families in this country? Or do you want it to go to pets and vets programs and the friend drawing, etc.? So that's basically all you decision you need to make. Uh, we need more Andy Griffiths and less Barney Fife's. Yeah, we got way too many Barney Fife's in the gun community. I'll tell you that right now. Unfortunately, they don't just have one bullet in their pocket, and they don't have anybody. And they got big megaphones. Uh, give away your freedoms for the perception of safety and you'll have neither. Yeah, you said that in a super chat too, I think. Vicky works as a dental manager. What the fuck's a dental manager? What the, what the fuck is a dental manager? I know what like a dental hygienist is and stuff like that. What's a dental manager? You manage people's teeth? How is that a thing? <clears throat> also, we just sent me a pic the video of that uh, bad guy grabbed the cops' guns and shot two cops. They're just incompetent. Most of them are, they, they want to be soldiers so bad, but they're so bad at it. Or, and to be fair, they're not, they usually aren't properly trained in it. The government just throws some tacky tarred training at them, and now they all think they're SWAT members, or they all think they're special services or, you know, special forces. Mr. Furley. Well, I don't think that's real, Mr. Furley. You know, Don Knotts is from West Virginia. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he's dead. Is Don Knotts dead? Don Knotts has been dead for a while, hasn't he? When did Don Knotts die? Hold on, I got to check this out just to see if this guy is who he says he is. There's t that's too many elephants. I've been watching you through your bedroom window. I can't do the voice with my voice cracking up. Yeah, he died in 2006. So you either this is really delayed or I don't think you're really Mr. Furley. <clears throat> but he said, thank you for your content over the years. Freedom means we can disagree and still work together on important issues like the Second Amendment. Yes, it does mean that. But a lot of people don't think that. I, I, I get so many people that say, oh, I've watched you for years and I agree with everything you said. And this was one of the examples of the cop comments. But when you started to bash police, that was too much. I can't be a part of this anymore. Blah, blah, blah. 
like, oh, so because I present an opinion on law enforcement, the difference for yours, you're so indoctrinated into sucking their dick that you can't even associate with people who feel differently. Uh, that just shows the problem right there. Um, what makes me laugh is when people believe Hickok was a cop. Hickok was never a police officer. He was part of the uh, uh, Sheriff Auxiliary Volunteer Port, which means that's basically get people, teenagers are members of that, that go out and use flashlights to help people park at the fair <clears throat> and bake cakes and stuff. Uh, what makes me laugh is when people think he was like a staunch research conservative pro to a conservative. No, he's not. He never has been. That's a character he plays on the internet. In the past, you said you switched to a lower cost, but quality dried dog food. What food and what qualities made you choose the brand? Well, the fact that the dog like that our dog likes them and that they're made in America uh, with all American sourced materials. That's why I bought it. I don't like getting anything that has uh, products that are brought in from other than America and Canada. I don't like if it's like, oh yeah, it's made in America, but we source products worldwide. No, I don't like that. Uh, it's got to be something that is produced in America and only sources products from like uh, America and Canada. And it was really hard to find some that are like that. But we have a... Uh, a store here called mud or something like that. It's mud. I think is what it's called. And you drive by it, you see mud. You're like, I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's a high end, uh, dog food store, cat food store. And you can go in and they'll do the research for you and tell you which one's source from where and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and we started off with the expensive ones and our dogs didn't fucking like them. We went down to like the cheapest, you know, the, how they have them in on shelves throughout the store. And as you, Start at the front, it's like name brands you recognized, etc. But nicer name brands you recognize. And then as you get back, it's more specialty brands uh, that are really expensive. Well, we started at the back and eventually we worked our way to the front where it was just normal brands, but nicer normal brands that our dogs actually liked at eight. <coughs> uh, where are we on time? We only got like a couple minutes left. Uh, all these bootlickers need to get real and stop living under the government thumb. I want to disarm the police, but the Second Amendment is on their side. Too bad it doesn't work for military personnel. Well, I don't want to disarm the police. I want police to be armed and be able to do their actual job. I just don't want them to be armed uh, as if their job is to control the populace. Uh, I think every police officer should be armed in a way that will give him the advantage if he's confronted with a criminal on the street. Uh, and I do believe that, you know, I'm okay with them meeting, you know, three cops for one criminal. That way they have a better chance of, of surviving. Uh, but I am not okay with every cop thinking they're fucking paramilitary and that their job is to is crowd control and, sub, and subjugating the masses and, you know, breaking down doors. That's not their job. <clears throat> I don't want to get rid of the police. I want to change the jobs of the police. I want to take away the things that they've been given over the years that is not their job, like mental health care and responding to things like that and uh, 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 riot control, things like that. That's what we have National Guards for, that kind of thing. Uh, so I want to take all that away from them and just make them law enforcement officers again. I want to take away the revenue gathering aspect of their job to where their job isn't to go out and harass citizens and just make money off of them. Usually the, the poorest citizens who they know can't fight back. I want to take that away. If we want to enforce traffic fines, things like that, there's other ways to do that without being involved in a guy and a, a guy with a gun pulling you over alongside the road uh, and having it escalate into something bad. Uh, there's thousands of ways to enforce traffic rules without that happening. So I just want to change the role of police and change the mindset and change the type of people that they hire for it nowadays. Uh, yes, in the early 2000s, the carry laws were ridiculously strict in Ohio. I knew a guy who was busted for carrying a loaded gun in his car back then. Well, yeah, things are better now than they were 30, 40 years ago as far as carry. Ugh. Oh, we're out of time, so I got to do the uh, drawing for the hat. Oh, shit, we were supposed to do the drawings for the friend and stuff. 
forgot all about it. I don't feel good and I don't feel like dealing with it right now. So we will do it tomorrow. Everybody's going to have to deal with the fact that Yankee's sick. And he said, fuck it. I'll do it tomorrow. <coughs> right now I got to count. That's bad enough that I got to count stuff. Uh, seven, 10, 13, 16, 19. How many do you fucking get for a hundred? Hold on. I got to write down that I was at 19. How many do you get for 20, 15? So that would be, so we'll do 70 for a hundred. So that's 89. Uh, 90, 93, 100, 105, 112. And I think one came in at the last minute down here. Yes, it did. Let's see, 112. So that'd make it 115. And that one that came in at the last minute was, you would live the DOT cops then, L.O. midget dick retards with a massive authority complex. What's the DOT? <laughs> Department of Transportation cops, I guess. Hmm. Is that like Max Train cops? Oh, the Max cops are awful over here. I've seen them harassing teenagers and stuff at stops, and I'm like, they're not doing anything. I've, I've actually st stepped up before when uh, there were two uh, uh, transit police over at the Lloyd Center harassing this guy because he was carrying a skateboard. He's like, they're like, are you been skateboarding on the walk and blah blah blah, and I'm like. And I actually went over and said, you know, right there it says on the sign that they can skateboard on the walk here. That is a public park and it is set up and it's okay to skateboard on the walkways as long as they give right away to people walking. And they were like, oh, you a judge? I was like, no, but I'm an adult. And they didn't go much further than that. They got on the train left. But <clears throat> So it wasn't a very exciting story. But uh, uh, let me go over here and do the random number generator. My mom's making homemade chicken uh, uh, soup tonight. Uh, uh, the noodles, she does these really thick, big egg noodles with chicken and broth and everything and mashed potatoes. You put them over in that. She's doing that for bread. I'm hoping I'll enjoy eating it and I'm hoping it'll make me feel a little better. So we'll see. I think I can smell it here almost, but it's in my head. I know because I couldn't smell it from in the house. Uh, I mean, just anticipating. 63, I got to count down 63. I have a feeling it's going to end up being, we know who. Uh, considering he got, how many did we say we gave him for that? 60? No, 70. So, let me write down 70 for that. Uh, all right, let's see here. 7, 10, 17, 20, 21. And that takes us up to 90. Well, no, wait. So, he didn't win. Oh, I thought he'd win. Uh, 91. How do we get to 115? 91, uh, 94, 97, 100, 103, uh, 110. Oh, wait, that doesn't work because now I don't have as many entries as I thought. I got to go back up to the top and start from the top again. Let's. Oh, it's 63. I'm looking at 115. That was the number we went to. So 63. I got to count down 63. Good Lord. Uh, 7, 10, 17, 20, 21. And then that takes it up to 91. So he did win. Uh, Todd Hutula, you won the free hat, shirt, or uh Small flag, whichever one you want. And I guess you could have a mug also if you'd prefer a mug. But send me an email that says uh, shirt or hat winner. Excuse me. Hat winner in the subject line. And then in the body, send it to shooting left to center at gmail.com or the Yankee Marshall at gmail.com. And put in the body whether you want a hat, a shirt, a small flag, or a mug. And tell me which one you want, what color, what size, whatever. And then give me your name and mailing address. And I'll get that sent to you as soon as possible. And uh, sorry, we got uh, sidetracked today. Uh, I will do the drawings tomorrow for everything. Uh, hopefully, I'll feel better tomorrow. And I won't be like every second is misery. Keeping my breath has been the hard part through this. Uh, but uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. I do appreciate it, especially those that actually support the channels and don't get uh, uh, all butt hurt over the police stuff. Uh I probably will put out another butt hurt in the police video tomorrow. Just piss people off over this. Like, Cause that shows I don't learn. 
I don't know any better. Anybody thinks I know better or that I learn from mistakes, you, you ain't been paying attention for very long. I don't learn nothing. Uh, but like I said, thanks for those of you that stick with me, even though I don't learn nothing and uh, help out when you can and do what you can for the channel, even if it's just watching the channel and sharing the videos, etc. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.